If you're like me, getting fat is the easiest thing ever. Losing weight, on the other hand, absolute hell. Until I realized how to actually burn calories effectively. If there's an IRL cheat code, well, it's this video. This single-handedly helped me lose 6kgs in less than 2 months with literally no intensive cardio. Blowing my expectations out the park so stick around and learn how to make cutting easy. If you also use the easy excuse of blaming metabolism, the truth of the matter is, unless you have legitimate endocrine issues, you are very unlikely to have a slow or fast metabolism. Apart from some outliers, everyone's base metabolic rate is pretty similar and won't largely affect your weight loss journey, especially when you add in NEAT to boost your calories burnt each day. So what is it? NEAT is a fancy word for a fairly simple concept, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Any activity you do subconsciously that burns calories is classified as NEAT. So all that fidgeting you do at your desk, it's NEAT. All that pacing around the room you do on a nervous phone call, that's also NEAT. The importance of NEAT is that these seemingly unimportant movements like fidgeting burn a lot more calories than one would think, and account for nearly all the differences in calories burnt between individuals. So what you want to do is just drink as much caffeine as possible, sit at your desk and just start uncontrollably twitching for the rest of the day. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one. Okay, just kidding. If you currently think this sounds like absolute crap, there's no way it matters that much to help burn calories, well strap in, let's look at some studies fellas. In this first case study, 177 subjects were thrown into identical rooms with the same diet for 24 hours, and the calories burnt through NEAT were tracking throughout the day. The calorie expenditure solely from NEAT ranged from 100 to 800 calories in one day. In order to lose weight, you only need to drop 250 to 500 calories a day for a fairly aggressive cut. This shows how easy it can be when you figure out how to effectively burn calories through this process as opposed to trying to run for 20 minutes and wanting to die every single day. Say you're not actually locked in a tiny room for 24 hours, but instead on a long cut, which I'm sure many of you have actually faced and failed before. In an identical twin study, they were put on the same diet and exercise program for 90 days. One lost 25 pounds, the other lost 7. This was literally all because of NEAT. Now you know it's actually real, let's get into the details and how to incorporate it into your life successfully. Quickly before we get into the cutting saviour however, let's speedrun basic principles of any successful cut that still need to be followed. Rule 1, you can't outrun a bad diet. Realistically, you can get down to a relatively low body fat percentage and get a six pack before any form of exercise such as HIIT is required. Secondly, thankfully crash diets have been slowly fading away because they're extremely ineffective and if anything detrimental to your long term goals. Unless you have specific health problems, fuck keto, fuck paleo, fuck all of that. The dose decides the poison, don't cut out all of your favourite food and just eat grass, it's not needed. Limit the shit food but keep a balance. You don't have to count every calorie you eat, but finding out your maintenance calories is important and having a good estimate of the amount you consume is also vital as many people severely underestimate their caloric intake. Go to this website, plug in your details, for the love of god don't overestimate your activity levels. I work out 6 days a week, but I work an office job so I burn nothing compared to someone who's a labourer. Track your calories for a few days to see how much you're eating, and simply drop the maintenance by 250 to 500 a day. Cut out a latte, replace it with a black coffee, and try to lose around one pound a week at maximum. It's that easy. Let's get into NEAT. So we now know that NEAT is everything you do outside of sleeping and exercising, achieved through walking, standing, and even as little as fidgeting at your desk, helping you burn off a ton of calories. But how do you add this into your everyday life? Well, jobs can obviously affect your NEAT level substantially, however, what you do in your spare time will dramatically change your weight loss, allowing you to burn up in excess of a thousand calories a day depending on how much you add in. Although this might sound difficult and time consuming to incorporate, it really doesn't have to be. Standing up compared to sitting will burn around 30 calories extra an hour, while adding an hour or two of walking a day by parking a bit further away from work, taking the stairs and going for a walk to get a coffee and obviously walking while you're drinking it can add up to over 400 calories burned a day. You can obviously walk the dog, do some gardening and even clean the house. All of this adds up drastically over time. Setting a step goal for each day, say 10,000, is a great way to get up and do stuff in your spare time and it feels like you're actually achieving something every day. This is enough to cause a calorie deficit on its own without even changing your diet. But that doesn't sound overly amazing, so let's put it in perspective. 450 extra calories burned a day equates to 1 pound of fat loss per week, amounting to over 50 pounds of fat burned in a year if you have a lot to lose simply by slightly altering your movement outside of exercises and dieting. 
It not only benefits weight loss goals, but walking helps sleep improve, prevents additional cravings after intense workouts, and gives you time to de-stress and relax. A good example of this was done by a popular YouTuber, Will Tennyson, who made a video walking 25k steps a day for a week. A dude who was already lean with abs and still managed to lose 4.6 pounds in a week from simply walking. It is Monday, day one of the challenge, so we're going to see what our starting weight is, and then we'll do a physique update, and exactly one week from now we will do the same thing and see if there's any difference at all. You're 182.8 pounds. Okay, so I'm 182.8 pounds, so here's my physique. We'll compare it to exactly one week later. I'm not really expecting much to happen. Honestly, maybe like one pound and we'll see. Good morning guys, the time has come. It's day number eight and I can't wait to see my weight. Apparently I'm so excited I just became a poet. So let's check the weight. Holy crap. What? <laughs> Overall, like, damn, I'm impressed. I'm pretty sure I only, I only only thought I was gonna lose one pound in total, but holy mackerel! Hmm. Crazy. Although this was an extreme example that doesn't need to be followed exactly like this, it shows how insanely impactful walking is and how it substantially benefits your overall health, especially in the long term. In addition to this, burning off more calories allows you to eat more and consequently consume more protein while still hitting your calorie deficit, allowing your body to hold on to even more muscle from the extra bit of food you get to eat while keeping you fuller for longer. On top of that, the digestion of food, known as the thermic effect of food, is the amount of energy required to break down and absorb the nutrients. Protein has by far the highest TEF, with 20 to 35% of the calories you eat burned through this process, allowing you to eat more, stay fuller for longer, and even burn more calories without doing shit. How good? This, in addition to extremely tasty, high volume, low calorie recipes rich in protein can make your life even more enjoyable while losing weight, which is why I brought out the top protein rich meals anyone can incorporate every day that feel like cheat meals but keep you headed towards your goal of weight loss as fast as possible. Real cheat days can seriously add up when you don't meticulously account for them in prior days surrounding them, which is why eating food you really enjoy is a crucial aspect in weight loss. That's literally it. Add all of these steps into your everyday life and you'll make it easy fucking clap, boys. Don't forget to subscribe and like for more of these tips and have a good one, fellas.